Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Uncle Tom Management and Uncle Tom ENT. Yeah, 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 nigga. Well, I'm an Uncle Tom man, nigga. And if you nigga don't know nothing about Uncle Tom, you nigga must can't read. White boy always said you want to hire something from a nigga, put it in the book. When the last time you nigga picked up a book? When the last time you niggas picked up a book? See, that's where I hide my money. In the books in the house. Because one thing I know about a dumb nigga, he'll kick in your door, steal your TV, steal your video game, might even steal your motherfucking dog. You can have a bookshelf and have all the money in the encyclopedias and books. The books be full of money. Them niggas will run through the house, ticket everything. They won't never think to knock over the goddamn bookshelf. At least just do the bit like this, just to see what come out. Niggas will not touch a book. Dumb and stupid ass niggas. So I'm creating a new motherfucking uh, a musical group. Fuck that MGM and shit, all that other kind of shit. Coulda been records. I got some real shit coming. Fuck a cash money records. Now I wish baby would call me by this punk ass symbol. Yeah, nigga, I ain't with fuck that cash money records, the no limit records, uh, coulda been records, uh, so so deaf records. Fuck them. Death Row Records, fuck you in your pussy, like PMC say. All you niggas, cause all you niggas, <laughs> yeah, told what to do by a white boy. <laughs> yeah, I just ain't got one to tell me what to do yet, but I'm looking for one. Yeah, I'm, I ain't got one to tell me one what to do yet, but I'm just looking for me a master too. I'm not bullshit. I'm looking for a master too. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm looking for a master George or master William to come over here and say, hey, can we share crop with you, sir? We don't want a slave. We want a share crop. Them niggas slaves. I don't mind being a share crop. <laughs> I listen. I just want to work some of this land for Europe and you fuck me and just give me a little coins. Yeah, that's it. I ain't yeah, Just let me share crop. I ain't trying to. <laughs> I don't want my own land. I, ain't, yeah. I just want a share crop, sir. That's it. And I got some old niggas to come work the land with me. And we ain't gonna be trying to sneak up in your house and fuck your daughter and the missus. We ain't gonna be up there with Miss Lily. We don't wanna sit on your porch and pull lemonade and we don't do, won't do none of that. We wanna work over here in this land and you don't bother us till it's time for us to pay our annual taxes and fees. That's how y'all used to do granddaddy, you know? So I'm trying to take it back to that kind of shit. We know we can't own no land with you, sir. So just let us share crop. We don't mind share cropping shit. Here you talking about. These niggas work for free when they go to jail. They go in that motherfucking sheriff jail house and work like a motherfucking mop and flow for extra trades. I done been in there with them niggas. I done been in there for 48, 72 hours for tickets. Waiting to be transferred and processed to the next city so I can get these tickets taken care of. I see how the niggas that throw up them signs act in jail. Soon as that mean motherfucking woman come on shift in the morning and she rallying that, get up everybody, get up. And she got that mop bucket out and that motherfucking pine saw and bleach spray bottle. I see what them niggas do in jail for an extra trade. Boy, they clean places that they wouldn't even clean in their own motherfucking house. And boy, I'm talking about them niggas be mopping. And all they get, I be laying in the bed looking at them niggas, saying, boy, look at them bitch ass niggas. I don't say it out loud because I know I can't whoop them niggas. They been in there more longer than me. They done got their weight back up eating that stouchy food. Ooh, them niggas be big in that motherfucking county jail. I'm not bull, especially them niggas been in there about four, five months. Can't make bond on them motherfucking felony charges. And I'm in this motherfucking tank with them niggas with these goddamn tickets. I don't say nothing. I just lay back and look. Be looking at them niggas ass. And boy, I'm telling you, them niggas jump through hoop for them extra trade. Commissary come along. It ain't a bunch of niggas standing in line. It be them Mexicans and them white boys and a nigga like me who's scared to spend the commissary money. Cause them niggas be looking. Boy, them niggas without no commissary money be sitting at that motherfucking domino table, TV table. They don't even be watching TV no more. Boy, they be seeing what a nigga spending. I gonna spend a few dollars like I'm broke. You hear me? I ain't lying. I ain't been gonna spend the whole motherfucker thirty dollars, and I got to squabble with these niggas over snacks. Fuck is you, nigga? I'm finna go get two honey bombs, or uh, three of them motherfucking chili cheese Frito chips. I'm not gonna get nothing else. That's all I got, and hope this bitch don't say my balance.
Yeah, hold this, hold on, say, my motherfucking balance. Because I'm going to go be here a few more days till they transfer me. So, no, nah, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm telling you like a motherfucker, man. So, no, nah, I got a new motherfucking record company coming called Uncle Tom ENT. And if you want to come over here, you want to get treated right, Uncle Tom Management. We ain't no fuck you. I'm telling you, we ain't like them niggas over there with them easy E kind of niggas, get with them Jerry Heller kind of Jews. I got the right kind of Jews. I got the kind of Jews that really like niggas, seem like. Now, could be wrong, but just on the surface, they seem like they really like niggas. Like, they got a thing for and they'll teach us how to read if we can't read. Now, them the kind of Jew friends you want. Fuck the one that'll pay you to go perform. Fuck them Jews that'll say, hey, come over and work. No. We got the kind of Jew where if you a dumb nigga, one of these little Jew boys go take you downstairs and teach the dumb ass how to read for massing them fine out. For you know what you're reading your contracts and you can understand these motherfuckers. All right? So y'all have a good day. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Make sure y'all tune in tonight to me and Aiden Ross. He my new Jew friend. I didn't even know the boy was a Jew. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was just a plain old white boy. He's different now. He's a Jew boy. He's a different kind of kid here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like him too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the boy too. So y'all have a good day and tune in. And so I got to cancel him. I heard last night. I was supposed to come on last night, uh, but I heard one of the modern boys pull his dick out. I said, what? Man, I'm not coming on with that shit. Y'all don't know what they're doing. That motherfucking, man, please. I'm not coming over there, that shit. He said, man, but come on, huh? I said, nephew, I'm not coming over there. And you over there, Peter Gazer? He said, I'm not Peter Gazer. I said, you're goddamn lie, you Peter Gazer. You done let that boy pull his dick out on you. He said, he did it without permission. I said, he did? He said, yeah. I said, so you didn't want to see his dick? He said, no. I said, you need to put charge on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sexual assault. <laughs> you need to put charge on him. In the metaverse world, you can put charge on a motherfucker putting their dick out on you in the metaverse world. On the difference between Bad Man Kivit, Bad Man Kivit wanted to see my dick. He been sharing it with people. Aiden didn't want to see that boy dick. He ain't showed it to nobody. I told him, I don't want to see that shit. I'm not going over there. He said, well, I said, listen, I'm not coming over and I hung the phone up in the motherfucker's face. I mean, what kind of white man? It's that white boy shit. He done let these motherfucker boy pull his dick out over there. He dickmatized. Then I said, man, you got to cancel that boy. Help him work through it. Get, help him get that dick off his mind. He need to put that dick to the back of his brain. So shit, I, he called me back. I said, nephew, don't let that dick stay on your brain all night now, boy. Have you ever process that shit and try to wake up in the morning and don't have them boy dick on your mind, all right? So I tried to call him this morning. Boy, I ain't woke up yet. Boy, he my he he said, boy, he woke up here. <laughs> I called and left him a message. Say, get out of there, nephew. Nephew, wake up. I know the boy to put get out of there. Don't let him pull you in there. Get up. Get out of there. <laughs> so he ain't called back, so. <laughs>